Evolution at Work Underground Supplements Episode Number Nine. Today we're going to be talking about stacking into guard and HC generate. How to do it? We're going to talk about need to build muscle who develop these products for people like us, people like Mobster, people like myself, people like you guys and gals out there who listen to our podcast. Serious gym rats. Pro bodybuilders, no matter what, you could be new to this, but you're a serious person. Those are the people these products are designed for. We're going to talk about how to de about developing supplements. Mobster used to own his own supplement company. He's going to talk about developing supplements and how that's evolved over the past 20, 30 years. We're going to talk about N2Guard specifically, what's in it and why it's so good. We're going to talk about AC Generate and what's in it and why it's so good. And then we're going to talk a great length on how and when to stack these, whether it's off cycle, whether you're new to weight training entirely, you're a younger guy, which we love you younger guys. You guys are the future of bodybuilding. Whether you're a veteran, a seasoned veteran, whether you're someone like mobster who used to compete. Now you don't compete. You're semi-retired. Whether you're a pro bodybuilder, it doesn't matter. Whether you use steroids, whether you're on a PCT, whether you're on TRT, so many different ways that you can stack these products for your advantage. And we're going to talk about that as well. So this is going to be a really loaded podcast. So we better get right to it, Mobster. So first of all, in, in 2BM, they've been around for many, many years. I can remember I first started using N2BM products back in the late 2000s. That's how long they've been around. That's how old I am. And they started out. Uh, it was an Army veteran who started the company, and it was an MMA guy who started it with him. And they basically developed, started developing supplements one at a time. And they they not only developed supplements, they were developing all kinds of things, even food products that they 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 would develop different things that you could um, different mixes. You could uh, order mixes and mix them up at home and make your own protein uh, uh, protein bars. So they came up with all kinds of strategies. But look, they're cream of the crop two products that they came out with that have stood the test of time and have been consistently the best sellers for N2BM. All right. And I know this. You take you take N2 Garden and NAC Jenner. Between the two of them, I would say that's 90% of, uh, of need to build muscle sales. So that tells you all you need to know about those two products. And people out there, they go after products like this, okay? Believe it or not, in the supplement industry, uh, because I, I've talked to the owner of N2BM, and he's told me, he's like, Steve, you know, I'm like, uh, I asked him, I'm like, why aren't you guys selling protein powders? Why aren't you selling the, the better bars where you make the, the protein bars at home? He's like, Steve, when we have those products in stock, they don't sell. But when we take them away, then people start bitching. But he said, Steve, at the end of the day, N2 Guard and HC Generate, they sell consistently. And they have the they basically have a huge following. And the same people come back over and over to buy these products month after month after month. And what people usually do, they'll buy two two N2 Guard. After two or three months when they run out, they'll place an order order for two N2 Guard. That's what they'll do. This way they have an extra bottle in case it's ever out of stock. So that's been the strategy for N2BM. Throughout their whole history, the consistent two products are N2 Guard and HC Generate. And those products have stood the, stood the test of time. And the key is the ingredients. And we're going to get into that in the segments upcoming. But look, at the end of the day, N2BM, they did not develop it to cater to these fly-by-night weightlifters, who weekend warriors, who all they do is drink creatine and protein powder. That's the only two supplements they, they mess with. Okay, if you want that, go to GNC, go to the vitamin shop, whatever. N2BM caters to hardcore lifters who want supplements beyond that, okay? Actual supplements that really get to the core inside your body and really make a difference. They hit it hits your HBTA, your, your nuts. It hits your nuts down below. It hits your organs, your liver, your heart, your kidneys, your brain, your skin. So many different things in the body. It moves your health numbers and your blood work, your cholesterol, okay, your blood pressure, 
your resting heart rate. It moves this stuff. These products improve all of that. That's what N2BM caters to, guys and gals out there. And that's what the division the of the company always was. So just like any supplement company, there's cyclical periods. It's ups, it's downs. Any company will go through ups and downs. And all these companies will do that. But at the end of time, N2BM has stood the test of time on the basis of these two products. And they are simply two of the top products. The, they're, they're the two supplements I've used more mobster than any other supplement in my lifetime has been N2BM and AC Generate. And uh, that's that's how good these products are. So we're going to get so much more into that. But mobster, touch on N2BM a little bit. When you know, how long you've been using them and what, what do you think about the company? I think I've been using them pretty much since I've been on the forum, which surprisingly enough, Steve is coming up on five years, which shocks me. Sometimes it feels like less. But yeah, I, this is the thing, guys. There, there was a period of time, and I mentioned this to Steve in the pre-show, where back in the day, you either had a great long line of supplements on your shelf. And we've actually discussed this when we've seen even in pumping iron, as Steve knows, there's a, there's a shot a, a, few, a minute or so long, whereas Lou Ferrigno, standing in front of the mantelpiece in his father Louis's house, and he's got, it might even be in his bedroom, Steve, and he's got, it's like 15 or 20 products. Steve's talking up, talked about back in the day before coming across Need to Build Muscle, spending hundreds of dollars sometimes per month. And we've even had members on the forum asking the question in that particular way. I've even pulled up one of the recent members, Steve, by saying, look, you've got this great long list of supplements. I think he's based in Australia. And really, N2 Guard, for example, has pretty much all of the ingredients of the list of supplements that he's got. He must be spending 100, maybe 200 Australian dollars, Steve. So it's absolutely crazy. And again, back in the day, what did we have? Fuck all, really. We were eating liver tablets, and that wasn't for protecting our liver. It was literally desiccated liver. We, we might have some vitamin B tablets. We certainly had the vitamins and minerals, but what we didn't have specifically then, and it's really come along and actually in my time, um, products that were going out of their way to be specifically designed to protect you. Now, we're familiar with the, the effects of steroids and all pro-hormones, et cetera, et cetera, PEDs on your body. And we're deliberately taking those products, those in, those, those chemicals, at a level above and beyond typically medical usage. And we're trying to force an anabolic reaction typically against them, adding muscle, getting strong, losing fat. We're trying to force a reaction on our body to occur in a much, much shorter time than it would naturally occur and often above and beyond what is naturally possible. And we started to understand even way back in the day that we might have potential issues doing that. It's like, and I've just used this analogy on a couple of podcasts recently, it's like putting a way, way too big of a turbo or too rich of a formula into a bog standard car and hoping that the engine holds up. So what we realize, of course, is that we could possibly be causing damage. And so we go out of our way now with products like N2 Guard, again, for example, to, to protect ourselves as much as possible. Think of it, guys, as an insurance policy. You might be a low dose, you might be super healthy, you might never have problems. Great example of proving otherwise, even if you don't get any physical effects, as Steve's discussed, is, is that you can have pre-cycle, on-cycle, and post-cycle blood tests, and you can see the markers which have been affected by your PED use. Now, we've also seen, this is how good this stuff is, Steve, We've also seen blood tests where the person is using N2 Guard, again, for example, because we're discussing two products today from Need to Build Muscle, and we've seen those, some of those markers come down. We've seen some of the bad stuff lower back down. It's always going to be slightly elevated because you're doing crazy fucked up shit, guys. But as best you possibly can, you're protecting your body. Now, I want to touch on, and Steve mentioned it earlier on, I'm familiar enough to have formulated, in my case, Steve, it was just we went out of our way to get a good, solid protein, whey protein product. It meant that we went to a flavor house. We went to two companies where you could see the product being produced, the one that we use on a regular basis and the one that was associated with the flavor house. I believe on that, I tried, I think it was 17 flavors on the particular day, but they were great. They were explaining how they formulate these things. I'm familiar with, again, from some companies discussing how products were developed. 
and that includes, to a lesser degree, the product development and the thought process Steve's just touched on behind uh, into guard again, for example, and even into generate. So how does this work, right? It is we know because we can go out and buy some of the individual ingredients, and we know what some of these ingredients do for our bodies. The difficulty is formulating it all into five capsules, seven capsules. The difficulty is sourcing the right material. And what do I mean by the right material? I've touched on this again in the past where you have seen studies of a certain ingredient and how great it was for the health of the liver. And this would be the study where it first, the product was first discussed. Then other studies come along and said, yes, our study agrees with that first study. But they were using the same material. Supplement companies and suppliers of the raw materials sometimes would use lower grade materials. They'd use a material that did not have a standardized active ingredient. They'd use the root and the stem or they'd use dry leaves. They'd use the poor quality material that was 10 bucks cheaper per kilo rather than the the high grade material and so on and so forth. And then you've got to get companies to put this together for you. So they've got to go out and source the raws that you're asking them to, but the standardized extract, the right leaf, the right stem, the right seed and so on and so forth. And then it's kind of expensive. Even just getting the product, sam product samples are unbelievably expensive, Steve. They really are just to get the first few samples of the product to come out. And then you still want them to go away and be tested to make sure the company's providing you with good material. To do that and then to go back with a big order and say, listen, I want $50,000 or $100,000 worth, you've got, to, um, all, you've got to sometimes sweeten the pots just to get this order put together for you in a reasonable time scale because they're producing big companies like that. They're not just waiting for your business. They've got business from other companies. So, you know, sometimes you're waiting for them to do a batch of fat burner. Sometimes you're waiting for them to do something, a poor quality test burner for a much bigger company producing hundreds of thousands of units. And eventually, need to build muscle included, gets in there, puts a $50,000, $60,000 order in and produces this material. They know it's got the raw, raw ingredients they want. They know the combination is perfect. To make it sound easy is absolute. It's, it's just ridiculous, Steve. I think I touched on in another show how they went away and spoke to experts within the industry. I can think of a couple of names that I'm not going to mention, but they sat down with and they said, "Listen, you know, if we put this ingredient with that ingredient, will it will it cancel the other ingredient out, or is there a better combination that you guys are aware of?" And these people went off to universities, they went into the libraries, and they. They got all the books and the studies they possibly could on each ingredient and then kind of worked out what was the perfect ratio. I've seen people talk about, oh, you need this much of an ingredient. Not if you've got four other ingredients that are doing a very similar job, but you want a specific response from one ingredient and so on and so forth. It's When you're talking about a multi-ingredient product, again, like N2 Guard or N2 Generate, you need to get the ratios of one ingredient to another. You need to stay. It's real. It's unbelievable. I wouldn't want to do it, Steve. I wouldn't want to do it personally. It would be a hell of a lot of work. And regardless of the price, and regardless, of, I don't think they make loads of money. These guys are not getting rich. They make a living. But they are producing sound, quality, highly regarded products that I've personally used pretty much for every cycle that I've done since I've been working with the Evo family. And I don't think I'd go anywhere else now, Steve, because I know what's behind them. I know what's involved. I've even had conversations with some of the experts that they told, spoke to. And one of the things that Steve said, and I like this, right? It would be, and I've been in, I've been in the supplement industry, it would have been too easy just for me to produce a pre-workout or, or a fat burner type product because when I started my my company, that would have been the number one thing for me to make a lot of money from. But we actually said no, we're going to focus on the solid ingredients that we use every single day, and we weren't making fortunes from those things. But we didn't need to. Never been desperate for a buck. More interested in integrity, and this is what I like about need to build muscle. They could produce cheaper products with poor ingredients, they could do fat burners, they could do pre-workouts, they could do protein powders, they could do a bog standard creatine powder or something like this, and they'd make a living. But they decided to go hardcore. They've decided to produce products that are appreciated by people like ourselves, knowledgeable, hopefully, I'll call us, I'll call us Steve, professionals in the industry, and 
our knowledge and experience of what PEDs do to us and what is required to protect us is being covered by a company with these two products alone by Need to Build Muscle. And they've done that, as Steve, it's well over a decade now. My personal experience, I'll give you an example, and this is just me talking about my own particular experience. I always have a PCT. I always have time off between cycles. And just to put it crudely, guys, my bollocks come back. My sex drive is normal when I when I come off a cycle. I've, I've had zero issues with acne. I've had zero issues with bloat. And all the ingredients, I've sat down because we do this podcast and looked over some of the specific ingredients and the responses and how they work on the body. And I'm more than happy with what the effects that I get from HC Generate and M2 Guard. Uh, for how it responds and works for me and how I've recovered from between my cycles. And I'm a big fan of taking time off. I'm a big fan of PCTs, not blasting and cruising, for example. And so I appreciate the products that Need to Build Muscle produces. And I understand why. And they're out there and they just kick an ass every single day, Steve. What do you think on that? So I think you're absolutely right, Mobster, what you were saying earlier on your point. Because what's interesting is you talked about you wouldn't want to develop these products. It's impossible today to develop these types of products. It'd be impossible. But N2BM, because they got in, they got in really at the right time. They got in toward the end. We were having a global, huge global recession. And that was the time to start up a company like this. That would basically, you basically got in really, really low. So it was an excellent timing when it comes to the supplement industry. Now the supplement industry is so huge and there's so much competition. Um, you know, it'd be impossible to start up a new company out of nowhere like that from the ground up and just build it. And the owner, the ex owner, I think he said that the when they started into BM originally, it only cost them five thousand dollars, I think, or some figure like that. A low figure, mobster. It was like less than ten thousand. Now, if you want to start a supplement company like this, you gotta have you know at least a hundred, two hundred thousand to start a supplement company of this of this magnitude. And just get it off the ground. So go ahead on that a little bit, Mom. So talk about the economics and we'll get into the N2 Guard yeah. thing. Let, let me give you an example, guys. I'm not going to name this particular UK company, but I'm very familiar. And it's funny enough, not a million miles away from where I live as we do this podcast. So there is a company that produces protein powders of their own. And they've been a sort of middle to low seller under their own name brand. But what they do better at. Uh, is producing protein products for coaches and PTs and gyms to put their own label on. Now, I have had a chat with that fellow when we were looking to do a protein product myself, and we, for various reasons, which I'm about to tell you, decided not to go with him. So this is how bad the industry can be. There were there was coaches and PTs selling products for less than the big players, and the big players have buying power. Company in, this, in the UK that I'm not going to name is very, very big. In fact, in the UK and the European market, and incredibly competitive. And they have to go to brokers and commodities brokers specifically to buy milk proteins on the futures market, Steve, so that they know that they've got 100 or 200 or 300 tons of protein powder coming in, the raw material coming in. So this company that I'm thinking of has a program, a computer program that they spent a long time developing. And the, the, the joy, <laughs> you really wouldn't want to buy their product. They will literally say, what do you want to sell it for? And then they will work out some combination of crap ingredients with good ingredients, just enough good ingredients for you to be able to say it's got whey protein. But it may have skim milk powder. The whey protein might be 30% pro protein. It might be 60% protein. It's not the industry standard 80 for a concentrate or the industry standard 90. So they're using baking ingredients and they mix this thing together, make it taste nice. And then the PC, the coach in the gym, could sell this product with their own label on. As often as not, they got around the regulation state by supplying the labels separately and you put them on the tubs when they arrive. This is how it's more it could be. And it, I know, for example, that in the industry again, and this is the American as well as the UK market, you can have products that are produced at the same time as in other companies. So in other words, there's no difference between a product or they haven't cleaned the machine properly, cross-contamination. So, for example, that's how some uh, athletes were claiming that they, 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 their protein powders, their creatine was spiked with steroids because this is a huge, great chemical processing plant and it's produces steroids over there, protein over here, 
and it's cross-contaminating into the product. So this is the kind of industry that what we've dealt with. In the US, I believe, Steve, there's three, maybe four really big, solid companies that have been producing formulated product for a long time. This is what I was saying earlier on about trying to get in there, get your order done in sufficient time. One of the things that Steve said, it kind of rang a bell with me, that when uh, N2 Garden, uh, N2 Generate, H2 Generate has been in stock, I've stocked up. I've always made sure that I've got two or three tubs. I always make sure that I've got enough for when my upcoming cycles are there. So I said, listen, I need two tubs. Let's make, I'll get two tubs two months in advance, Steve, for that reason. So, yeah, I know how the industry works. I certainly know how it's worked in the past. I know how they cut corners. I know some of the things that they will do. I'm familiar with the good guys that are producing solid products. And eight, a Need to Build Muscle is a company that's gone out there, gone out of their way to produce these two products. Trust me, guys, they're not driving around in Rolls Royces or jetting off the flash places off the back of the money that they make off these products. And sometimes they've had to wait to restock because the stuff's flown off the shelf to people like myself and Steve and members of the forums that know these products are solid. So we've literally cleared out the stock in a couple of weeks and then we've had to wait weeks again, Steve, to get the product back in the stock. There's a UK seller that's been selling the products. Uh, you can click, check on check on the Need to Build Muscle site. I know for a fact, Steve, because I recognise the company from before, that even before I drew, joined the Evo family, they were selling Need to Build Muscle products for at least six or seven years. And it's a solid seller for them. It's probably the only product they've got on their site that does this. I can only think of one UK company that comes close. And I've seen the formulation for their product just by checking out the label. And I, I think it's like half as good as N2 Guard, half as good as HG Generate, the products that they do produce. And they're probably one of the best UK companies with their own label product that's almost but not quite comparable. So there you go. Honestly, guys, you can do the same for yourself. Please do. And we're going to talk about ingredients and how to dose the cycle these products on, off, and so on and so forth. But please literally do your own research. I challenge members before on this, Steve. Go away. Look at the ingredients. Look at the dosing. Look at the source and the quality of the ingredients. Then hold that up to the product that you're thinking of using instead. Now, here's the thing, guys. And I'll, I'll do this one last thing before I hand it back to Steve. Guys will say, oh, X is cheaper. Yes, it's cheaper because you it's half the dose. It's got 20, not 40 ingredients. The quality of the ingredients is not the same. The standardization extract, the standardized extract is not the same. It's not the same percentage. What you're showing us is cheaper because it's cheaper. It's cheaper to make, it's cheaper to formulate, it's cheaper to produce, and it doesn't quite do what this product does. Have you seen members' blood test using the product that you're talking about versus us? And again, my last comment on this, Steve, and I said, guys, if you're going to spend a thousand dollars on cycle, don't bitch about the price of your health and looking after yourself on cycle. You insure your car, you insure your house. Hell, you guys, you probably insure the big screen TV you've got. I want your health insurance here with these products to be as on point. Don't skimp. Don't try to save a buck. Do it properly. One of the things that we say in this podcast, and I'll probably bang this drum again at the end, Steve, is we want your health and your success in your training, in your desires to perform at a higher level than most people to be as good as possible. We want you to use products like this because we rate those products highly ourselves and we know just how good they are, Steve. So let's get into first N2 Guard. Let's talk about N2 Guard and what's in it. So first of all, it's got over 40 ingredients. I mean, the amount of ingredients in this stuff, Mobster, is just incredible. And they all do different things. And they all help different organs in the body. They help, you know, they help you. Whether you're on cycle, off cycle, PCT, whatever, it's going to help you. They've got vitamins. They've got minerals. Just about every single one that you can imagine. Vitamin A, C, D, theamine, riboflavin, riboflavin. Vitamin B6, folate, B12, calcium, iodine, magnesium, zinc, selenium, boron. I mean, the list is on and on. And they have a good amount of each in the product. So this covers your multivitamin. Uh, for those of you who use multivitamins, this can cover it. And then you've got the next 
group, uh, you know, of, of products in it, the coenzyme Q10. That's probably one of the most popular heart supplements on earth. So instead of going out and buying all these multivitamins, or instead of going and buying some cheap multivitamin that you just that doesn't even work, or buying these individual vitamins and minerals, you might as well just buy into guard because it already has them. And then instead of buying coenzyme Q10, why not just buy into guard? It's got you covered on that one as well. So you're covered either way. It's got several different things that help with your heart health. Apple pectin is another one. Garlic fruit extract is another one. Dandelion root extract is another one because it helps flush, his, flush out excess water retention. I mean, I can go through here. Um, there's so many, there's so much stuff in here. And then there's at least five, six, seven different liver support products. Pricoliv, Tudka is in here. Um, I mean, it's it's just amazing what's in here, mobster. And then you go back to the, the heart thing. It's got omega-3 fatty acids. Are you taking a uh, omega-3 supplement? Well, now you don't need to. It's already an n guard. Hawthorn berry, turmeric root, good for your it's good for your joints. You know, I mean, this it, it's just about it's got parsley leaf, it's got uva ursa leaf extract. And let's say you're working out. And you're getting really bad pumps on cycle, okay? And it's crippling your lower back. It's crippling when you're doing arms or your calves or something. It's got taurine in it as well. So instead of using a taurine supplement, or if you're using clenbuterol as well, it can, you can get really nasty pumps and cramps. Instead of using taurine, uh, buying taurine itself and spending 20, 30 bucks buying taurine, you just buy into God. It's already got it. And it's got all these other ingredients. You see, You see what the concept is? For this, I mean, it's just amazing. And then milk thistle. How many people get milk thistle for liver? Mobster girl is like, oh, you're running steroids. You gotta protect your liver. Go get milk thistle. Yeah, it's got milk thistle already. So exactly. why would you go spend twenty bucks on milk thistle, oh, forty bucks yeah. on tutka, forty yeah. bucks on coenzyme Q10, uh, you know, twenty five bucks on turmeric root, uh, you know. You're buying all these products on your own, a multivitamin, 20 bucks, 50 bucks for a multivitamin. You can just buy an entry card already has all this in it. It's got so much stuff. It's got red yeast rice, Mobster. I know you like that one. That one's yeah. an excellent product. And then it's got black pepper fruit extract. Why? Because it absorbs all these ingredients. It's yeah, enhances those... the absorption. Let me jump in here for a second, mm -hmm. Steve. Guys, listen, right? We you, you you have much more information available to you now than you've ever had in the past in terms of the effects of steroids, and especially high dose steroids. So for example, and we see this again on the forums, not as much as we used to, Steve, because guys are learning. So one of the issues is bloat, where you hold too much water. And so for example, Steve's mentioned it already, dandelion root, it's, as it extracts, a mild diuretic. We know, for example, that some guys get acne. So why are we seeing products like, for example, an ingredient here, Steve, vitamin C is great for skin health. I believe what we're looking at here, I'm just rubbing quickly, uh, vitamin D is another one that's great for skin health. We know specifically that it's difficult for some people to get enough vitamin D from the sun. We're far more likely to use protective creams, et cetera, et cetera. And we also know that vitamin D is great for bone health. What are you doing when you're going to the gym? You're stressing the fuck out of your body. Steve's a big one for talking about how inflammatory certain foods are and how inflammatory stress is. And literally training the actual process of building muscle is as a result of an inflammatory response within the body so natural anti-inflammatories natural products that reduce inflammation are exactly what we're looking for like steve said already the milk thistle milk thistle along with tribulus and we're going to discuss that when we talk about hg generate where the two big ingredients i'm going to say steve that we started to discuss in detail in the 80s, and, and milk thistle specifically was probably the only ingredient that we used to protect our liver and our kidneys back in the day. Listen, guys, if you train crazy hard, you're going to cause a stress response in your body. If you then, as a lot of people do, especially when they're trying to cut, Steve, you're restricting your intake, 
we've got a small percentage of the younger generation that aren't eating as much fruit and vegetables as they should. And then you take steroids or pro-hormones, then use PEDs to enhance your ability to train, to recover, to lose weight, to gain muscle, to get strong. All of these things are stresses. They are. In fact, they have to be. You're trying to force a reaction on your body. And so when we start to break those things down and when we start to look at things, we want stuff that helps us with natural testosterone levels. We want stuff that helps us with organ protection, specifically the heart, to a smaller degree, the brain, ironically, Steve, because it's controlling all those organs, the liver, the kidneys, your gut health is super important. As Steve said, if you can't train because the pumps are absolutely crippling you, you want taurine. What's the one that Steve mentioned earlier on, Steve? This was a huge one in the 90s and 2000s, and it was even in the back pages of national newspapers, kind of like a miracle cure, the turmeric route. Now, we know it's not a miracle cure, but we know that it does do a great anti natural anti-inflammatory. I actually did, in my little magazine back in the day, Steve, I had the old, two old guys together researched an article for me on coenzyme Q10. And the ability for that, again, when you're stressing like a bastard in the gym, training like a maniac, when you're on a reduced diet, the sense of energy that the older fellas were getting from it. And we got members on our forums that range from 18 right the way up in my, my own case to 59. And I think we've got a couple that are over 60 years of age. So we've got a huge range. Some of those guys are out there working construction. They're working hard in the gym. They've got stressful jobs. Anything that gives them a sense of well-being and energy is important. So we're looking at that kind of stuff. Red yeast, right? Yet red yeast, right? Steve mentioned already, 300 milligrams in N2 guard. You go white rice, brown rice, red rice, right? So brown rice is way, way better just for the glycemic index than white rice. Literally just because it's, it's not as clean. It's got a bit more roughage to it and so on. But having the isolated part of the red yeast rice is specifically because, again, of heart health, organ health, and literally being better for you. And again, like I said, you can take a lot of these things, Steve. Uh, you could go out and buy these individual ingredients. I think if I look down this list and I wanted to buy a single jar of every one just as they came with no fillers, I think I'd be looking at five or 600 bucks minimum probably more just to have all these on my shelf. And then, like I said, we need to get into the specifics of, and let me give you an example again. Steve mentioned one already, black pepper fruit extract, standardized to a minimum of 95% piperine. Now, some of you might know about this one, and it comes, it's funny enough, it's also in the grapefruit. It's the ingredient in both the black pepper and the grapefruit that specifically enhances the uptake so you're actually getting more bang for your buck having this added because it's not necessarily adding anything to your health here. But what it is doing is enhancing the uptake of all of the other ingredients, not maybe not all, nearly all of the other ingredients. So you're getting the full benefit. And again, this is why you're training like crazy, up in your protein, trying to gain weight, trying to lose fat, trying to be chiseled, trying to win a competition, taking PEDs above and beyond, as I said earlier on, medical levels and trying to cause these reactions in your body when you might even be close to your absolute maximum, your genetic potential, and you want to get above and beyond your genetic potential, your natural enhanced levels. So anything that enables and increases the absorption of these great ingredients has to be included in there. And I'll give you an example just on that particular one, Steve. If there are comparable products and they're only half as good as this, how many of them are actually trying to enhance and increase the uptake? See, this is a sort of thought process that went into the product development of this particular product to make sure that you got as much bang for your buck. So, guys, <laughs> talk about the cost, but it's actually gone out of its way to make sure that the absorption of as many of those ingredients doing the best they possibly can was increased so that you got as much bang for your buck as possible, Steve. Yeah, and there's just a few more in here I wanted to talk about too. Astragalus, uh, this this is great for your immune system. This is great for diabetes, protecting liver and blood pressure. There's several different ingredients like this in the product that do many different things. And that studies have shown they have different things. It also helps as an anti-inflammatory as well. Um, and, and, and it's actually used in 
medications on your skin when you have like a wound injury. So, I mean, it's a great antibacterial. It's almost like, you know, um, something you would put on there if you had like a cut or something, like instead of, you know, putting on something, you could put the, you could put this on instead of putting, you know, um, putting some hydrogen peroxide or something. This would, this actually helps heal that wound quicker. Chlorophyll. I used to take this back when I was an Ironman uh, triathlete. And this one is great uh, as an antioxidant. And it helps with uh, as a neuroprotective and anti-inflammatory supplement. And it helps with obesity. It helps with your endocrine, endocrine system. It helps with cancer. It helps with all kinds of things. Uh, great, great antioxidant. And it really made a difference when I was uh, when I was training like that. So if you train like an animal, chlorophyll is definitely something that will help uh, detox your body. And then endol 3 carbonyl. Now, this one specifically has been found to prevent all kinds of cancers, including breast, colon, and others. And this is this is a great one. And it's not often you find a supplement out there that helps with cancer, but this one has been shown too. And then this is a compound that's found only in um, a cru uh, cruciferous vegetables. I think, I actually, it might be found in some other uh, vegetables as well, mobster, but specifically it could be found in uh, cruciferous uh, vegetables like broccoli, for example. And how many people out there honestly consume the broccolis and the cauliflower and the cabbage and the collards and the kales and stuff like that out there? Very, very little. I eat broccoli yeah. all the time myself. I'm always steaming broccoli and I always make sure I have plenty of it on hand. I always add it to my chicken or my beef or whatever. But I mean, this is a compound that that really really is good for uh, preventing cancer. So those of you out there who never eat your green veggies and later on in life, you end up getting cancer or you have relatives like that, you can, you can point to that. Well, you, sh you should have got your veggies, you know, because that would have made a difference. But look, N2 Guard has you covered on that as well. So there's so many different ingredients, mobster, that do so many different things where it covers you from A to Z. And this is why it's the best support supplement in the world, period. So touch on that a little bit, and then we'll get into AC Generate. Yeah, I, one of the things that we can talk about is an AC Generate as well, Steve. And I, I mentioned it in, in passing earlier on. The form of the ingredient is as important as anything else. So if you take a plant, you have root, stem, flower, leaf, seed. Now, for example, Steve, don't eat parsley leaves. I'm mean, sorry, sorry, don't eat rhubarb leaves. You eat the rhubarb stem. Celery, you eat the stem. You wouldn't eat the root. Potato is essentially the root. So you understand that certain plants have particular parts which benefit for us just as food. So, for example, and Steve said this already, and I'm just going to cover this, milk thistle seed extract. Not any other part of the plant, the seed. Uh, the black pepper I mentioned earlier on being standardized to 95%. Uh, the yerba mate leaf, the... Bacoba monorai whole plant extracts. In other words, the whole plant's beneficial. I also cover other things, but I'm just reminded of something Steve said in a previous podcast as I was talking. Steve said, for example, we had explorers, both American, British, and Spanish, and whatever, who so went all over the world, and they came across some of these tropical islands, places they'd never been to before, and the natives were run, running around, and sometimes the natives would say, listen, you need to try this tea, you need to try this coffee, you need to try this plant, and you go, well, why, why should I try it? Good for man, good for man. And they're sort of insinuating when we get into HG Generate. That's actually where some of these ingredients come from, Steve, because it made you hard. It made you virile. It made you chase after the girls. And so obviously what happened was is they tried some of these ingredients. Some they brought home, potatoes, tobaccos, and so on and so forth, came from across the world, coffee, and so on and so forth. And they come to the world. Later on, of course, we developed a specific understanding of the active part of that plant, what was the best part, what actually gave benefits, what did not. And then we worked out down to almost a molecular level, Steve, in studies, in science, in universities, with professors of chemistry and biology and so on and so forth, what was working, what wasn't working and so on and so forth. And we was able to sort of isolate and we knew, right, yeah, this plant actually does increase testosterone. This plant actually does benefit your liver and your kidneys. But again, specific parts, I've seen cheaper, lower-grade uh, products 
where they don't list whether it's a seed or the root or the stem or the leaf. They don't specify the standardization extracts. And that's because they don't want you to know it's poor. So it's super, super important. Now we're going to cover now, of course, HG Generate. Oh, let's leave jump back in. But this is even more important in that particular regards because we want ingredients in HG Generate to specifically help us with regards to testosterone boosting. So jump back in, Steve. Yeah, and AC Generate makes a great complement to n 2 We're going to talk about on the next segment exactly why. Because we're going to talk about on the next segment what happens when you run an anabolic steroid cycle and then when you come off and why these products are going to be necessary in them. But we got to touch on AC Generate. So AC Generate has a lot less uh, products in it. So really, really simple. Um, seven products. And I'm going to let you, Mobster, talk a little bit about Fedosia and Bulgarian Tribulus, because I know you know a lot about these. And these are products, and Mobster and I talked about on the pre-show, they've been used for hundreds of years, hundreds of hundreds of years. Yeah. They've been using these products for various things. Um, and and they, they use it for a reason. It helped them with muscle. It helped them with strength. It helped them with fertility. It helped them with with libido, with their sex lives and all that other stuff. And look, over the past 20, 30 years, we've been using these products in bodybuilding more than 20, 30 years. I'm, I'm, I'm getting old guys. I mean, the sixties <laughs> and seventies, we, these guys, these guys were using tons of Fedosia and Bulgarian Tribulus. They were using a ton of this stuff because it worked and it helped them. And AC Generate has a boatload of Fedosia, 1,000 milligrams per serving mobster, and it's got 500 milligrams of, of uh, Tribulus. So talk about those two products, and, um, and then we'll talk about some of the other products that are on AC Generate as well. I'm going to start with Tribulus, Steve, because I've told this story before, both online and on this podcast. So again, during my time, and I'm thinking late 80s, 90s, some of the UK magazines started to talk about a study that was coming out of Bulgaria. And Tribulus, uh, I'll make sure that I can pronounce this properly, Steve. Terrestris, I'm probably, I'm probably mashing that up a little bit. It was called Trib or Tribulus, shorthanded, was the plant. And again, here in the case of the fruit, and I'll talk about what's in uh, HG Generate, standardized to a million, minimum sorry, of 45% saponins and in brackets of fruit. So what happened was a study came from Bulgaria and it said, essentially, we've got our athletes, Eastern European athletes, Bulgaria being part of Eastern Europe, taking steroids, state-sponsored products, Steve, as we know now, to get their Olympic athletes to perform to a higher level than the West, specifically the UK parts of Europe and America. When they wanted their athletes to win, we wanted our athletes to win. And because they were using these state-sponsored steroids given the didn't even know would tell their athletes what they were handing over to them just take this it's recommended by the doctor and they were taking these products and then of course they were going out and winning gold and silver and bronze medals lo and behold they started to do blood tests and they started to realize that actually, these drugs that we're giving our athletes are having an effect so the bulgarian doctors the bulgarian researchers specifically started to look for something that would as we've just discussed protect their athletes reduce inflammation, reduce the stress on the organs, and in fact, enable the athletes to recover and be healthier and therefore perform at a higher level. So, of course, what happened was within the industry, we started to see this in the UK bodybuilding magazines, then the American magazines, because we were, we were in Europe, we got to hear about it first. And we started to realize, hey, this, this tribulus is a great product. Great. So it's the first thing that we've actually had properly that might actually protect us to some small degree from steroids. In this particular case, as for Ventugar, but in this particular case, not only protects us, but enable our natural production of testosterone to come back as quickly as possible. So what happened within the industry, Steve, was piss poor quality product came out real quick. Very much, I think, the thing was says, uh, uh, me, 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 buy our product because it's better than product X. The reality of the situation was that product X was coming from Bulgaria. And it was the daddy. It was the it was the nuts. It was the best part of the plant. And then even with the researchers, they had to standardize it because you were getting variation from one batch to the next batch. You needed standardization. The 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 companies that were doing the Me Too products 
were literally buying whatever the fuck was available. Is there a source for this product? Where can we get it from? It doesn't have to be Bulgarian. We don't care if it's Chinese. We don't care if it's the low-grade stuff. We don't care if it's the leaf and it should be the fruit. And it wasn't standardized. And I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll put it, I've actually been to a spice warehouse for one particular job back in the day, Steve. And you can obviously buy premium product ingredients versus low-grade ingredients. And I'm talking about, for example, whole leaf versus the, the dust, the ash, the broken up dried bits of leaf that go to the bottom. And when it goes into the machine, it fill, sil, sieves it through, Steve, and you get the quality stuff on top and you get the low-grade stuff on the bottom. And trust me, guys, if the top-grade product is $40, the bottom-grade product was $10. And the Me Too products were using a $10 ingredient. They were not using the $40 ingredient. Fortunately, sellers, buyers, should I say, actually, Steve, customers, including ourselves, including our listeners, have become more savvy. They can go online and look at the original research. They can go onto NCIM and look up the original studies and the documents, even if it's an edited version of the study so long as what was the ingredient how did it work what were the positive end results is there a longer version of this can i buy a copy of that study as a download and they some people do that they literally go out of their way steve to specifically research and buy these things and actually read the whole goddamn document thank god we've got them in the industry steve because they can explain it to us in layman's terms what an ingredient does, how it works, what you should be taking, and so on. So, for example, Steve, I can go into a UK a health food shop and I can buy products that are half the dose they should be. Even if the quality ingredient is high, it's half the dose. They'll say it's a month supply when I know that I'm supposed to be taking three times what they've got on the label because that's what was used in the study. So Tribulus is definitely one of those ones I was super familiar with, saw the early articles, Realize what went on within the industry, and you know, I want the standardized products. Fenugreek, Greek, for those of you like Steve said again, the stem, not the fruit, not the leaf, not not the not the root, whatever, the, the stem specifically. And again, I think for those of you, Steve, is definitely as I described earlier on, one of those ingredients where explorers went over the world, went into the Brazilian jungles, went into tropical islands, saw plants they'd never seen before, realized that the natives had great teeth shiny eyes white eyes that none of them had skin problems that the fellas had like three girlfriends and 47 children what the hell's going on here what are they eating what are they doing what is different about this plant and their their, their lifestyle and the nutrition different for them than it is say to me and my mates the sailors and etc the explorers that have come with me you know we're stuck scurvy and a lack of vitamin c and all that kind of stuff steve so there's that the, the fantastic stuff that took probably 200 years when every single country in the world, developed country in the world, was exploring every other inch of the planet, making the maps and talking about this stuff. Now, in this day and age, you and I can go to the supermarket and literally buy fruit that came from a tropical island that 100 years ago we couldn't get. It wouldn't last till it got here. We grow some of those things in this country, but as often as not, we can fetch them over on refrigerated container ships and I can enjoy fruits that look like something they come from outer space. So what are we looking at here? Let me give you another very quick example, Steve. Zinc. I've told this story before, and I've talked about a little trick that I did with my buddies back in the day with regards to zinc. And it was the effect it has on your sex drive and specifically the amount of juice that men produce. Semen. So the guys were all ears. They thought I was yanking my chain. And talking about uh, taking a normal dose, and if we're talking about here of seven milligrams, I think a normal dose was slightly less than five milligrams. That was what you was able to buy off the shelf in chemists and health food shops. And I said, for a couple of days, guys, triple it. Go three tablets instead of one tablet. Do that on a Friday, do that on a Saturday, or even better, do it on a Thursday, do it on a Friday, then go out Saturday night, grab yourself a piece of ass, and surprised both of you with just how much fluid you're producing. So it went out. It, it was, I literally had, oh my fucking good grief, Steve, what the fuck are you talking about? And then they went away, did exactly what they I told them to do, and came back on Monday with like, well, I'm not going to show you photographs, motherfucker, but Jesus Christ, my bollocks were fucking knocking this stuff out like a tap had been turned on. So it was. It, it sounds like a silly thing. It's actually really, really good for healing, Steve. 
but it actually has a small but significant effect, especially in combination with the other ingredients, which Steve's going to touch upon, in terms of the amount of fluid that you produce, making your balls feel full, making you feel like you've recovered, and, of course, helping you in the recovery. Again, it's a healing uh, ingredient here, Steve, as much as anything else, in terms of how you recover, how you feel like you're recovering, and so on and so forth. Talk about a couple of the other ingredients. Okay, so... 3,4 Devanol, very, very good because it binds to SHBG and that's going to increase your free testosterone. So in our body, we have bound testosterone, unbound testosterone, free testosterone, total testosterone. Your free testosterone is what matters. So 3,4 Devanol works great, uh, both on cycle and off cycle, because if you're on cycle and you're using it, it's going to help the steroids actually work better in your system. If you're off cycle and you're using them or in PCT, it's going to make more of your testosterone freed up. So it's really good when it comes to helping you increase uh, everything across the board when it comes to testosterone. LJ100, um, really good for uh, testosterone levels, really good for your mood, helps with your fitness, your performance, all kinds of other health benefits. It's an excellent addition to this cycle for sure. And that's one of the things that a lot of people use AC Generate for is their sex life, not just their gym life, but also their sex life and their libido and helping with erectile dysfunction. And that's what these uh that's what these supplements do when they're in here. Vitamin E, the more vitamin E you have in your system, the more testosterone you're gonna produce, the more fertility you're gonna produce the more your HPTA is going to be fed a uh, healthy. So if you're not getting vitamin E, I, I truly believe this. One of the problems we have in America, and it's also in, in your neck of the woods too, Mobster, is not enough nutrition in our diets, poor vitamin E, and it's leading to all these sexual dysfunctions that we have. And yeah. that's a big that's a big reason why. Fenu Greek, look, across the board, when it comes to uh, libido, when it comes to muscle growth, it's an excellent thing to use uh, for all of those things. Um, it And it helps even with things like your heart health. It helps with inflammation. It helps your blood sugar levels. So it's not just good for in the gym and in the bedroom, but it's also good for, for things like that um, that you wouldn't expect. So it's it's really, really good. And it helps also the bioavailability of testosterone levels. It helps um, it helps your libido big time. So it's a really, really good addition to this. So what, what you can do with AC Generate <clears throat> as we transition into the final topic here, let's say you're not using steroids at all. You're not on cycle and off cycle. And let, or let's say you are. It doesn't matter. Any time of year, no matter your situation, you can literally pop five caps of AC generate one hour before bedtime and um, bedroom activities. Let me put it that way. Yeah. Fun and, time. Fun time. And it's going to help with everything. Libido, erect erectile health. It's going to help with your energy. It's going to help with your mood. It's going to help with everything to make it better. And that's what a lot of people use AC generate for no matter what their situation is. Now, on cycle, what happens when you use anabolic steroids on cycle to your HBTA mobster? Your pituitary glands go dormant. So your balls aren't getting fed. Your latex cells aren't getting fed. So your balls will shrink up. Now, if you use AC Generate, you start taking AC Generate after about a week or two, you'll start noticing your balls plump back up. It's not your imagination. We just went through what's in AC Generate. And that's why your balls plump back up. AC Generate also helps with anti-inflammation. It helps with your heart health. It helps with other things, balancing cholesterol. It helps with your mood. It helps with libido, erectile strength, bedroom activities, gym activities, muscle strength, everything. So on cycle, it's still beneficial. And as I said on the last segment, it's going to help your steroids that you're using work better because it's going to bind to SHBG. So it's going to do a lot of things on cycle. So it's absolutely a good one to use on cycle for a lot of different reasons. So you can use it on cycle. In PCT, it's an absolute must in PCT. Yes. Absolutely. For all those things we talked about and more, 
It's going to be a huge, it's going to make your PCT run so much smoother and it's going to help recover your HPT. It's going to help feed your latex cells without suppressing your pituitary glands in the process. In fact, it's going to help your pituitary glands produce more hormones and guide it and, and support it along. It's not going to suppress it like some of these other compounds. So AC generate absolutely is great off cycle, on cycle, PCT, in between cycles, no matter when you want to use it, five capsules a day works great. You can use five capsules all at once, or you could split them up two or three in the morning, two or three in the evening. You can also use it an hour before the gym if you want a little more boost in the gym. Um, so it really, really has so many different benefits. So touch on that, and we'll touch on yeah. uh, why you should use N2Guard on cycle, post-cycle, in between cycles. Talk about that next. Yeah. Listen, guys, right? So I'm going to talk about the effects of modern society. You're stressed because you've got debts. Some of you are working crazy hours. American society workers, the typical workers doing 10 hours a week more than, than we are here in the UK. And I think, I think the Germans are doing like 35 hours a week, Steve. Americans are doing 50 so you're working harder. You've got more chemicals and pollutions in the diet and in the atmosphere and around you than you've ever had. And we've actually seen stuff we've talked about in the media where the testosterone levels of men of today is less than it was of your father's and your grandfather's generation. And we go, how poor they was during the Depression. <laughs> for, for, for put it crudely, Steve, their bollocks were working better. Their testosterone levels were higher. They might have been smaller. They might not have been eating as much. But funny enough, they were actually healthier in a perverse kind of way. Medieval people, we've talked about this on another show. We imagine somehow that the serfs were fucked up. They were healthy as fuck, Steve, eating 4,000 calories a day. at their grafting and having two sleeps of a night, not one sleep, or all that kind of fucked up stuff. So the reality of the situation is off-cycle, as Steve said. Just society of the day, especially if you're an industrialised, or a big city, industrial areas or a big city, is having an effect on your body. The stresses, whether it's social media, TV, movies, the, no the news, whatever else, the stresses on you are higher than they've ever been. We almost take on too much stress. Does any of these things have an effect on your testosterone? 100%, Steve. And then, of course, we go to the gym and we kill it. We then don't do, and I'm including myself here, guys, it's an open, honest policy, giving you as it is, I don't eat all the fruit and veggies I should eat. I certainly eat more than some of our members, but I'm probably not eating enough, Steve, not every single day. How many of you have prepared meals, ready meals, stuff you've got from restaurants and bring into the house? How many of you are cooking from scratch? Not enough. So you're not getting enough of the nutrients that you should do. And then, like I said, we go on cycle and we suppress our natural testosterone production. We have, vis-a-vis -vis N2 guard, an impact on our internal organs, on our heart, on our lungs, but especially on our liver and our kidneys. These are the most affected organs when we use steroids. And again, we're using, for the most part, at levels that are above medical usages. And we want to create, we want to be beasts. We want to be big, muscular, motherfucking beasts. And we get some of us are not getting enough sleep. There's all these things going on. So, for example, as Steve said, HG generate, especially Steve, on cycle to keep your balls plump. And especially towards the end of a cycle, in my opinion, is particularly regards to start the process of recovery. And then 100 percent an absolute cast iron 100 percent PCT for HG generate. N2 guard is definitely on. If you guys, and I'm talking about to you younger listeners, are still partying, are still using recreationals, are still smoking, you're already stressing your body, and then you hit the gym and do crazy shit and stay up late and don't get enough sleep. All the stuff young people have done since the dawn of time, Steve. So is N2 Guard going to help you? 100% again. It's going to help your recovery. Now, of course, if you slept better and ate better, you'd be doing those things for yourself. But you'd still be using PDs. You'd still be in the gym. So you've got to have these things in place. Something Steve touched upon in previous shows, and I'm going to talk about it now. When we talk about dosing, I've always come out with a line, Steve, when it comes to dosing. Read the label. And, for example, N2 Guard is seven capsules a day, and HG Generate is five capsules a day. However, I've also agreed with Steve because he's covered his point very well, and I let him come back and finish now. 
when you're on a high dose cycle or when you're using, for example, Tren and other steroids, which are especially inflammatory over and above, say, for example, others which are not, then we talk about with N2 guard up to nine capsules a day, especially on a high dose cycle. And in the case of HC Generate, up to seven capsules a day. Some of you will be using more than a gram a week. Some of you, we got a pro that on, on, on the forums that the last time they put up a cycle was two and a half grams a week. A lot of our members are using a gram, gram and a half. They will be getting more stress on their recovery, more stress on their organs, more stress and suppression on their testosterone than someone using less. So it's important, Steve, and I'll let you jump back in here again, talk about why you might want to up the dose in those circumstances. Yeah, so when you're using anabolic steroids, you're using a really, really harsh cycle, it's going to cause a lot of issues, a lot of strain on your heart, your liver, your kidneys, your brain, everything in the body. So using more into guard um, on a more harsh cycle is a really, really good idea. And then so what you can do on cycle, seven capsules a day is, is the recommended serving. But using a more harsh cycle, up it a little bit. Go eight, nine, even 10 caps. I like 10 caps. If I'm using trend, I'll go 10 caps. Yeah, I feel a hell of a lot better when I do that. But you know, seven caps is more than enough. Uh, regardless, if you if it's a you want to save a little money, then seven caps. Now, if you're doing a really mild cycle, may say you say you do SARMs. For example, you go three or four caps with SARMs, or on a mild cycle of steroids, very low dose, you can go three or four caps. That's that's okay. PCT, I would be going at least three, four caps with PCT. Um, Intuguard is going to help you in PCT. A lot of people don't understand that. They're like, well, you should just use Intuguard on cycle because that's when your organs are being strained. No, your organs are still being strained in PCT. Uh, look at the blood work of guys and gals who run anabolic steroids. And look at where their bloods are during PCT. It's not going to magically just recover like magic. It takes time for your liver or kidneys to, to get back and your heart to get back to where it was before cycle. So N2 Guard is absolutely a great choice. And then year round, you can just use N2 Guard as a general supplement. It acts as a multivitamin. It acts as so many different things, an antioxidant and so many different benefits. I have a lot of respect. For N2 guard. So really it doesn't matter, mobs. They're on cycle, off cycle, between yeah. cycles. It's great to use. Just make sure if it's a harsh cycle, you're using at least seven caps a day. Otherwise, you can drop the dose a little bit and run three or four caps a day. So final thoughts. Let me mobster. jump in. Yeah, yeah. Take just jump in yeah. very quickly, guys. Right. So this is an important topic, and we could probably talk about this as a completely other show, Steve. But the importance of what we call PCT post cycle therapy cannot be understated it really can't the amount and i was not high amount steve but i've seen enough posts from people that said i've done this cycle and it hasn't even been a crazy cycle steve but i haven't recovered and then when you look at the pct it's almost non-existent if it isn't non-existent in other words they've literally run like two ingredient products that's it and you go okay well you didn't run a pct that's not a pct uh, they, they failed to understand because a buddy at the gym told them what to do. The effect on their body of suppression, they, un they don't understand that their balls aren't automatically going to come back five minutes after you took the last steroid. They failed to understand the impact of, on their organs. And they've literally taken two low-grade products with like one or two ingredients in each, and that's it. And you go, no, <laughs> you haven't had time off. You haven't fully recovered. Blood test will tell you the situation. And like Steve says, that's very true before, during, and after cycle. We've seen, as I said earlier on, the effects of N2 guard on blood tests. We've seen the effects of HG Generate on blood tests, always to the positive, Steve. And again, we understand completely. We also said we could probably do a show just on BCT and what it actually means and why you should do it. The importance of recovery. And essentially, and this is the biggest thing, Steve, and I think, if guys don't worry about their organ health, if they're not worried, I mean, they, a lot of guys are, so I'd be very surprised if they wasn't, if they're not worried about their sex drive, if they're not worried about the libido, if they're not worried about not being able to get a hard on, and I don't think there's a man alive that listens to this show that isn't worried about, that worried about those things, then here's another thing for you, and I'll, I'll include this almost as my final thoughts. You've worked really hard to lose a fat. You've worked really hard 
to become muscular. You worked really hard. Your diet was aced. You meal prepped. You killed it in the gym. You researched. You asked the guys, is this cycle optimal for what I'm about to do? You, you did a log. You did all of those things. And then what we see sometimes, and I've had to bang the drum hard on this one, is a successful cycle is keeping as much of those gains, keeping off as much as that fat loss, keeping as much of that muscular strength that you gained as possible after a cycle. And that's why it's super, super important to work on your organ health and super, super important to work on natural production of testosterone and full-on recovery and full-on health, full stop, for the whole of your body because you want to keep the very much as that muscle. You want to look amazing. I don't want you poor bastards looking like haggard old men. I want you to, and I said this earlier on, Steve, because Steve's the same, we want you to succeed in the best way possible. So when we give air information, like we do in the shows, it's about you, in this particular case, recovering and keeping your health as much as possible while retaining muscle, while retaining strength, while being lean as fuck. So it's super, super important in that particular regard, Steve. I know that Steve agrees with me because we've covered it before. So, yeah, guys, listen. Put your comments in. We want to know what you think. Argue with us about so many ingredients. We welcome the debate. We really do. And I think you've got to admit that when we're talking about organ health and when we're talking about recovery and when we're talking about you keeping as much muscle, et cetera, et cetera, as possible, I don't think there's any argument there. But by all means, do so. We welcome your comments. Please note, we are not doctors and opinions are ours. It is our view and based on our experience and views on the topic, a podcast of informational purposes and entertainment only with the freedom of speech and the First Amendment applies.